Hello, welcome to my channel. I am doing a packing video for the Hobo B Annapolis print um, from Jujube. I had another video posted for it, but it was the video was sideways and it was really bad lighting. So um, I went ahead and started over. I, I don't, I'm not going to go into like all the pockets and all the different um, placements of the bags. I figure if you're watching this, you probably already know what a Jujube Hobo B is and all the different pockets and things like that. Um, I usually just pack it for the Hobo Bee for a light day to church or restaurants or things like that. Um, I do have the Dream World Hobo Bee, oh no, I'm sorry, Dream World BFF that I use for when we're out all day. And then a Queen of the Nile Better Bee for when we go overnights. Um, we do live in a very small town, so traveling out and going, um, about an hour away for different places is pretty normal for us. Um, so here's the back. And I have a burp cloth, and this is actually really big. And it has, uh, my mother-in-law got me these, and I have blankets, and I have a matching blanket that matches this. And I have a burp cloth, and I have a few of these. I have like six sets, so I've got burp cloths and um, blankets. <clears throat> and then I have my Clorox wipes. And I, I don't think there's anything else. I did choose this print too. As I said, my husband was the in the Navy as well as the Army. And he liked the print a lot. So I thought I'd be in. And I liked it because on the inside it's red as well. So on the side I have the Dr. Brown 8 ounce bottle. Which we took a nap and threw it. So she's not, she still has some in there. And then we have, and she's also transitioning from breast milk as well to bottle. So those Dr. Browns have been a lifesaver. They just seem to work. And then in my Dreamer Passy Pod, I, if I can get it open, I have one ma'am, Passy, six months, and she likes these a lot. She's got the other one. And then on this side, I have my Munchkin trash bags. And I have these for when I take a bottle. I always make a bottle and I'll take these just in case. And these are, these are awesome. I like the Similac. Um, these are a lot easier than making a whole bottle. I just put a nipple on the top and then go. And those are pretty easy for us, especially on the road when you've got a, you're driving. And Okay. So in the mommy pocket, I have my key lanyard and on it, I have my matching coin purse, which has my coins in it. Um, I usually try to keep coins for the seven year old. And the 13 year old, you know, the Target or the mall, the video games and stuff like that. And then I have my wallet that I got from Target. It's pretty thin and it can hold the checkbook and my driver's license, gift card, things like that. It comes with, uh, I'm trying not to give you guys my information, like a whole bunch of different slots and things like that. And then because of how long it is, if I don't, if I overpack, which I tend to do a lot, um, I can just use this coach wallet and this one is small but it fits inside the mesh pockets and I can get uh, my driver's license and cards and stuff like that. This is just usually for on the go quick or if I overpack it's got a place for money too. <clears throat> and then inside I have, sorry I thought I heard something, my Black Widow coin purse and in here I have hair ties bobby pins. I have a 13 year old uh, daughter who's got really long hair. I have three girls so these are pretty pretty important. She wrestles and the other one does gymnastics and and then I have my essential oils. I have thieves, uh, lavender, lemon, and peace and calming. So those are pretty awesome. I have my tissue Someone's always got a bowl burger, whatever. And then inside, get this out of the way, the zip pocket down here. And I like this, the red and the lobsters. I think that goes together really well. It's really cute. I have a pin and my tied to go, sorry, <clears throat> my tied to go uh, stain pin, which my seven year old is a messy eater still. So that's been a big blessing because I've saved a lot of white shirts. Um, <clears throat> In the tech pocket, 
I usually have a phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy S, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, which fits in here, which is awesome. Um, got another pen, and then I have these keychains, which they give them to you at the VA, and you hand them out to vets who uh, suicide hotline crisis, anything like that. So as I said before, my husband's a disabled combat veteran. So having these, um, with the group of vets that he has, the friends and things like that, these have really been good. I hand them out to everybody, give them to my family to give to people and stuff like that. So I, I think it's a good, it's a good thing. So on to the inside, which I do have a pack. I'm a very big little packer. I have just on the top here, I have a bib. And this, this bib, um, I got from Walmart. I got two and she likes these cause it's got the teether and she won't drop her teething toy. It's like, I don't have to worry about her dropping her teething toy and they're really thick and it's got like a terry cloth back. So I like these and they're really cute. And then I have her teething, uh, teething beads, teething necklace. <clears throat> she likes them, but I think it's hard for her to keep all of those. So I'm going to work from the outside in. I have my wet ones, and I like these for my seven-year-old who gets into seven-year-old stuff. She's pretty messy. And then I have inside the zipper pocket a uh, tampon. And then on this side, the other mesh pocket, I have a super toky small be organized piece, and I have inside of it the a book, crinkle paper book, teething tablets, a toothbrush, and the munch mint. Which, I think this thing is awesome. I'm going to show it to you guys. <clears throat> it's called a munch mint. And it goes on her hand. It Velcro's on her hand. And she can just pop it in her mouth. And it's like, she can shake her hand and it won't come off. I like it a lot. It's pretty awesome. It keeps her busy. And then, on the side, I have my husband's meds. For when we go out through the day, and then, yeah, here we are. I have a container, <clears throat> it says Tylenol, but it's Motrin 800. I don't really like Tylenol very much, um, and I only use, use it in, I have a torn rotator cuff, so it's only if it's absolutely necessary. If I'm in a lot of pain. Or... And then I have my set pieces. Um, I am a set piece person. I love my set pieces. Oh, you know what? Let me show you what's on the sides first, and then we'll go into that. So I have all my set. I have my Sea Punk, small piece, small set piece. Um, this is my bag, and this actually has a matching mirror. Uh, I got it off the buy sell trade. It's cute. I like it. The baby likes it too. It's easier for her to hold, and she can stick it in her mouth. Um, and then I have my samples. I did Birch Box for like a two years, so I have a lot of. Uh, little samples that I use. This is my favorite. It's and I got Q-tips and eyeliner, tweezers, eyebrow pencils. I don't really wear a lot of makeup, so if I do, I usually do it at home and then I just touch up if needed. On the other side, I have a small set piece, Caillou City, and I like this little gorilla guy. And this, and this, I have. This is my. Uh, med pouch and I have the this I got from Whole Foods it's all natural disintegrating tablets that go on the tongue um, my seven-year-old we take a lot because I said we take a lot of road trips because we live in a small town so she gets car sick really easily so this is to back them 30 and this um, you just turn it and it comes out turn this it's pretty neat you turn the bottom Let's see if it'll twist well this twists and little pills pop out and they stick on you they're really small but this has helped her with her car sickness nausea. And then I have the Cora Balm. This I actually get from CVS. You have to order it. I think they back order it. They back stock it or whatever. Uh, it's got cortisone in it and it's for chapped lips, red burning, when a kid constantly licks their lips or weather changing, allergies, dry dehydration. This stuff really works. I swear by that stuff. I have antibiotic ointment. I have antiseptic wipes, cream, burn cream, Imodium, uh, Benadryl. My kids have a lot of allergic reactions to allergies and stuff like that. Uh, nail file, nail clippers. So this has been a big um, 
that's going to be help for me to keep that stuff around. I have hand sanitizer. I have, oops, my baby Gannick sunscreen. Um, over the summer, he'd be outside trampoline pool, my five month old. And then school just started, so walking my two year old to school, I mean, sorry, walking my second grader to school, my five month old's pretty pale, so that's just safe, safer that way. And then my Caillou City um, medium piece. <clears throat> If I can get this open. And this is just for, as I said, the day. So we have a pair of socks. We have a romper. And we have a onesie that Daddy picked out. And this is just, as I said, out for the day. Not going, like, just to church. Or going to church and then to the restaurant, so not making it a point to be out all day. And this is my large piece, set piece, Caillou City. And I absolutely just, I love Caillou City. The pieces that feel like really guy again. Um, it's girly, but it's not too girly. And turquoise is my favorite color, which is a plus. I can get this open. There we go. So, I love the Caillou City. My zipper has gotten really finicky over the last couple of days. And I'm not... Hang on, just give me a second. I'm not sure why. It stuck on something and I think it stuck on the... I am so sorry about that. Okay, so this... I'm not sure why it keeps getting stuck. I think it's the plastic that it gets stuck on right here. So this is the large piece, sorry, my little one woke up, and I have the nipple and the casing, and that goes with the Similac to go, which, as I said before, this has been on the road, we do have to take little road trips here and there, and instead of having to make stop and make a bottle and powder everywhere, this has been really easy, and she eats it's eight ounces, so that's a full bottle, so that keeps her for one meal for about two or three hours. <clears throat> then we have the bib. I was thinking about getting a Be Neat, but I, I'm worried that if I got it, I would leave it in my bag and forget about it. And, um, and then I have the Happy Baby Food Pouches. I like these a lot just because they're clear and I can see in them and I can see if there's something wrong with it or I can see what she's getting, if it's discolored. I just feel safer. Um, these are actually at Target and the closest Target is like an hour away from here. So when I go up there, I stock up pretty good on these and they have really good flavors like the carrots and the... They have kale, avocado one. They've got a lot of really good ones, so I like these a lot, and she does too. I like the Plum Organics, but you can't see in them. So I have her puffs, strawberry-flavored puffs, in these little containers. And then I have her yogurt drops, vanilla and strawberry. Sorry, she woke up, so she's going to be awake. And then I have, my seven-year-old is a water baby, so she drinks water constantly, but she does like to add flavors in it sometimes, so she likes the Propel, so I have the grape and the raspberry lemon lemonade, and my 13-year-old is also a wrestler, so getting her to have electrolytes and things like that is plus, and then I have the baby spoon, just in case, she eats off of our plate a lot, she's already eating the big girl foods, and then I have my Quick and Low MB. And on this one, I like the quick. I do. I just, I don't like the strap, so I tend to tuck it in. Um, it just kind of gets wilding out all in my bag, so. And in this, I have the booty pod. And this is filled with the Baby Gannick wipes. Um, this is pretty thick, filled with Baby Gannick wipes. And I, I like the booty pod a lot. It keeps them safe. But I don't, I'm trying to run use them all out. I bought a box of Baby Gannick wipes and I don't like them. I don't think that they are thick enough. So I bought a bunch from Amazon, which Amazon has wipes, their own wipes, and those are really nice. Those are thicker, so I got just trying to waste those. Plushable wipes for my seven-year-old. Dad, mom, everybody. Um, I have three Baby Gannick Pampers, size two. Gonna be going to size three next. 
I have the Desident Cream, which I usually use Boudreaux's butt paste, but I think I left it downstairs. Um, I use this kind of mostly for under her neck or fur if she has a real diaper rash. The Boudreaux's is mostly for preventative, but I do like this for um, if she actually has one. And then inside, I have I have more of the Arm & Hammer diaper bags because I figure if I take this into the bathroom by itself, I have some. Um, or, you know, struggling with this, having to roll it out or whatever, and that's usually for trash that I have time to get to or in the car or whatever. It's just random trash, and this is, you know, easy access. And then I have the disposable um, changing pads. I do have the changing pad down here at the bottom. I didn't like it in the back. It bulked it out too much. Um, I use this for her head or if she's too long for something, but I like the disposable because I don't like putting, I know this is weird, but it's, I just feel it's dirty going back in here and back in here. So, um, and then the back, I don't have anything back there now, but I usually have a play pack for my seven year old and then a small set piece that has, uh, Shopkins, fidget spinner, things like that. So, but as I said, she, they're at school, so I don't need to pack for them. And that is the hobo bee. Um, everything that I pack and then I'm also going to be doing a video on the BFF and then like I said the be prepared um, I'm sorry the better be so if you guys have any questions just leave a comment and let me know thanks